Hi, I'm Mikey and I play Dylan. Hi, I'm Jasmine and I play Esther. So from the major events that happened in Doxu, what would you say has been a major highlight for you? I don't think Esther's had any highlights with the Doxu. I think it all just built up with Esther, all the little funny, funny videos that people put up about her wetting herself. Mm -hmm. The spy cam footage of where Esther's doing everyday things, but things that girls tend to not want people to see them doing. She's had a bit of a rough time. I think it's all just built up. And then at the memorial, which was probably the wrong place to do it, um, she just lets rip and lets everyone know what Maddie was really like, but no one believes her, obviously, because it was Saint Maddie. Why do you think people are turning a blind eye towards Esther? I think Esther's... I think they genuinely think that Esther can handle this and mm. that when she does get upset about it and she does cry and she does throw a little paddy, that she's overreacting and that she can't take a joke. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's turning a blind eye. I mean, family have all their problems to deal with, with like the baby Oscar, yeah. with that Nancy and Darren. So like people too bus busy yeah. with their own business. Yeah, to be everyone has their own lives it. and I think Esther didn't want to um, burden them with her problems. Mm. I think, I think deep down Esther thought she could handle it herself and that she, because she was always such a confident girl that she thinks she can handle it and yet when she gets home and she's on her own and she's watching these videos, she's um, logging into docu, she's doing all that kind of stuff, that's when she breaks down herself, that's yeah. when she's like, no, this is really bad, I can't deal with this. And that's when she feels most alone. People should just be aware that even if it's the tiniest little this comment about the smallest thing on someone, that sticks with them. Yeah. No matter who says it, it will stick. Whether it's wrote online, whether it's said to someone's face, whether it's said through Chinese whispers and it gets to someone, it sticks. So having made um, Doc Q, uh, how do you think Dylan feels now? What do you think his responsibilities are? I think that one of the things that he's learned about from making this Doc Q is to have responsibility because before he didn't realise that whatever actions you make it has a consequences to it and um, and that putting everything out telling the truth which is what he was aiming for isn't always the best thing because what he didn't realise was that other people would have dealt with it differently would have seen it with one person know that person the other person could be Oh, well, that's my friend I'm seeing. It could be a mum seeing and going, oh, that's my son, you know. He didn't really think about it. He was just focusing, getting out. And now, I think Dylan now realises that he, he, he has to have responsibility for his actions, think about others more, um, and realise that putting out everything to everyone, telling them the whole thing, is sometimes not necessarily mm -hmm. the best way to go with things. Mm -hmm.